smart. A bus full of kids and you pull in front of somebody like that. It's not real smart. Anyways, hey guys, what's up? What's going on? It's that biker dude coming to you. It's supposed to be nice today, but it's not. It's uh, pretty cloudy. I don't like it. It was raining all day yesterday, raining this morning. So while it was raining, took the hood off my car to uh, put a glossy coat of black paint on it. It looks good, except for it kind of globbed and gooped up right at the bottom of the hood or towards the front of the car. So I had to run to the hardware store and uh, pick up some 220 grit and 400 grit sandpaper. So once that paint completely dries, sand it down and put a smooth coat of paint on it because it looks, it doesn't look awful, but it just bugs me knowing it's there. And in the process of waiting for that paint to dry, I did a brake fluid flush on this here beast. And when winter hits, I'm going to do a coolant flush as well, as well as attempt to adjust the valves if they need adjustment. Oh, my nose itches. Too much of that paint fumes in my nose, making my nose hair sticky. I'm not exaggerating, it was horrible. Anyways, I'm gonna do the, plan to do the valves myself. Uh, you know, basically had to rip, rip the whole bike apart. Uh, tank, the air box, uh, the throttle body, fairings. I mean, it, it's pretty involved. Then you gotta take the valve cover head off. And depending on if the valves need adjustment, then you have to take the cams out. So uh, it's, it's pretty involved. Sport bike. What's up, dude? Ninja. I don't know if it was a little bike. It was probably a 300, Ninja 300. They're pretty cool. But since wanted to charge me anywhere between five and seven hundred dollars seven hundred if the valves needed adjustment and five if they didn't and i don't want to pay 500 bucks for work that doesn't need to be done to right to whereas i can do it myself so that's what i'm gonna do this winter i'm gonna <laughs> pull the bike up on my porch instead of doing it in my garage because the garage is tight quarters let alone there's not very good lighting in there Whereas if I ramp it up on my porch, I can put a heater out there for when it's cold out and have good lighting and have internet access. So if I need to look something up to see if I'm doing it right, which I'm not just blindly ripping my bike apart. I, I've watched some, some detailed videos on how to do this. I know the calculations and yeah, I'm pretty confident I can do it myself. If you can save yourself five to 700 bucks, save yourself five to 700 bucks. I'd want a nice handgun with that kind of money. I'm just kind of riding around, doing whatever. And this is like the uh, the precursor to winter. So I'm not exactly a very happy camper. But you guys are watching this, so that makes me happy. I just hate the fact that winter exists. Now, if... <laughs> this sounds like a boatload of baloney. But if winter could only exist for like three days out of the week, out of the winter... So it's like 12, 12 to 15 days a month, winter would exist. I'd be happy. And the rest of the time, if it'd be warm, oh, that'd be awesome. I'd say winter, hammer us for those three days, but it's all going to melt. But that never happens. So, ah. And then prior to recording this vlog, twice, I just start recording. And next thing you know, my GoPro goes beep, beep, beep. I look in the mirror. Ah, pretty sweet car. You might want to race. Virginia, awesome. I wonder if it's stick shift. But it, it beeped three times, and uh, I look in my mirror to see, look in that mirror to see what my GoPro says, and it says SD error. I'm thinking, what in the world? This is a good SD card. And so, no problem, popped the SD card out, popped it back in. It said uh, file repaired. Okay, so I start recording again. It does the same thing about 30 seconds later. So I'm like, oh, what in the world? So I, I turn it turn it off, pop the SD card out, pop it back in, file repaired. I delete everything on the SD card. I didn't lose anything important, so don't freak out. And uh, I haven't had a problem with it since. And I'm gonna stop talking here so I can get in between this traffic. And you're not gonna let me over, are you?
So yeah, I kind of freaked out. I'm thinking, great, now I got to get a get a new 64 gig SD card. Granted, I got it for like 20 bucks, if that. I got it pretty cheap. Hashtag eBay. So yeah, I haven't had a problem with it since. That's pretty much what's going on with me. And uh, yeah. And that is some clogged traffic right there. Holy cow. Congested, not clogged. Holy cow, that kind of scared me. Felt the rushing wind. I thought, wow, you're close there, buddy. I remember one time I was on the basketball team. Uh, my church and another church combined because we had very few guys. And uh, we were in a hotel in Nebraska. And we were with this guy that was related to the coach. And he was he was a card, to say the least. He was just a card. And just funnier than funny. And next thing you know, it's like 10 o'clock at night. Or it's getting late. And he puts one of them them end it's on the end of the bed in hotels i don't know what you want to call them blankets but it's just at the end i don't know what you call them he wraps that around this around his head along with another kid and they're okay they're not terrorists they had no intentions of being a terrorist so but you know <clears throat> this guy he's like oh we will have no problem getting past airport security <laughs> it's like don't say that! What if somebody heard you? Just funny. He was funny, man. Just wrapped it around their head like a turban. <laughs> Just walk and he was he wasn't huge, but he was he was a he was a bigger person. So it just made it all the more funnier, you know, kind of folded his arms. Oh, we will have no problem getting past airport security. But it was oh man, he that, that's not a very good story, but the guy was just funny. I mean, when he was around, you were having a good time. And you or if, if you were having a bad time, you were about to have a good time. Because he was just, he was hilarious. I'm not going to give his last name, but his name was Ryan, okay? I mean, he was just, he was a funny guy. Had the, he, there weren't bottle cap glasses or anything like that. Bunch of streakers. My question is, why is like 95% of the people out streaking when it's like 70 degrees out and cloudy and low humidity? That dog was taking a squat. Anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.